We have a wild story out of Ohio. A man was hospitalized after the zebra he owned nearly bit off his arm. Eva Pilgrim joins us with the details. Good morning, Eva. This is a crazy story, guys. The man bitten by his zebra couldn't get up. His arm severely injured, but he was able to call 911, begging first responders to come before the zebra got him again. This morning, a man lucky to survive after being bitten by this zebra seen on police body cam approaching sheriff's deputies as they respond to the scene. I got attacked by a zebra. You got attacked by a what? Yes, a horse. The zebra nearly taking off his owner's arm in a shocking attack. The 911 call coming Sunday night just south of Columbus, Ohio. Did he bite your arm? Did he? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, is it still attached? Down before it gets me again. Okay, okay, listen. What? Give me a give me an helicopter. Deputies finding 72-year-old Ronald Clifton in a fenced-in field lying on the ground. We need to expose the wound just to make sure yeah, yeah, it's, it's stop the bleeding. When deputies arrived, the zebra appearing aggressive. Is there a way for you to keep him back? We're trying not to shoot him. Despite trying to shoo the zebra away, blowing air horns and yelling, the zebra continuing to move toward the deputies, leading them to make a snap decision. They had put down the zebra because it became aggressive towards uh, deputies and uh, other people on the scene. Clifton taken to the hospital where doctors were able to reattach his arm. Experts say the animal may have felt threatened and acted out. Male zebras, especially if females are in season around, get incredibly territorial. That male was probably looking at all these things as a threat and was going to take out those threats. The U.S. is the biggest importer in the world of wild animals for pets. Owning and trading them is a multi-billion dollar business. In Ohio, exotic animals have to be registered with the state, but Ohio doesn't consider zebras to be exotic pets. What they're doing is they're trying to categorize it as a horse. What you have in a zebra is you have an absolute wild stallion. Uh, you know, you have an animal that has wild instincts and it makes it that much more dangerous. So the sheriff telling us they aren't really sure why the zebra attacked its owners. The owner had one male zebra and multiple female zebras. So you heard there it could have been them protecting the females, but they were also doing some work on the farm. So it's possible he was spooked by the equipment. We'll never know exactly why. And it's completely legal to have zebras They're there. They're categorized Ohio. as a horse in the state of Ohio. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Eva. Glad it's going to be okay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.